Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add payment method on Google Sites. In fact, I will be showing you three different ways you can do this. The first thing you will need to do is go onto sites.google.com. Once you have created your Google Site website, for example this one right here, and you want to start adding payments, all you'll need to do, the first option that I would show you is to create an account on PayPal. All you'll need to do is go onto paypal.com. Then from there, you can create an account using your email address. Once you have created the account and you're on PayPal, as you can see right here, all you'll need to do now is tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on the settings cog, what I want you to do next is tap right where you see Seller Tools. So you are going to tap on Seller Tools right here. After you have tapped on Seller Tools, I want you to scroll down. Then right where you see PayPal Buttons, you are going to tap on that. After tapping on PayPal Buttons, you will be redirected to a new page. And you can see right here they offer the Smart Button which will give your customers the option to pay with PayPal, Venmo, PayPal credit, and other major credit cards and debit cards. Or you can add the simple buy now button, or you could add an add to cart button. So let's say for example, we want to add the smart button. All you'll have to do is simply tap on it. Then after you have tapped on it, all you'll need to do now is scroll down and you will see no before you code and you can see all of that information. But we don't need to learn all of that. All you'll need to do now is simply scroll down. Then from here, we're going to tap on copy. So you're going to tap on the toolbox right here to copy the code. Once you have copied the code, all you will need to do now is go back into Google Sites. And once on Google Sites and you're on the page that you would like to add the PayPal button to, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left-hand menu option. Then from there, you're going to tap on Embed. You're going to tap on Embed right here. Then you're going to select Embed Code. And you're going to paste the code that you have copied. And you're going to tap on Next. Once you have tapped on next, you are going to see a preview of the button. Then you are going to tap on insert. After tapping on insert, you can see that the button has now been added as you can see right here. And you can edit how the button looks. So if you would like to extend the size, all you'll need to do is simply pull on the box right there. Or you could drag it up to make it a bit smaller as you can see right here. And once everything is to your liking and it has fully loaded up, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish and that's it. You will now have a payment option on your Google Sites. And the second option that I would recommend is by simply creating a button directly. So let's say for example, you are doing some affiliate marketing or so on and you would like to link back to Amazon or any other website that you are doing affiliate marketing for. All you would need to do is get your affiliate link. On Amazon, you will need to go over to the top left-hand corner, tap on text to get link, then you would simply copy the link. So let me do that real quick. Now all you will need to do is go back onto Google Sites, and I'm just going to be using one single page. Now to add this button, all you'll need to do is go over to the left-hand menu option, or better yet, the right-hand menu option, sorry. And you want to be under inserts, as you can see right here. Then you're going to scroll down, and right where you see button, you would simply tap on that. Then you're going to enter the button name. So I'll simply type in by now. Then you're going to add the link. And you can paste the link right here. Then you are going to tap on insert. And you can see that the buy now button has now been added. And you can move it to wherever you would want it on your website. And you can also edit how the button looks by simply tapping on the button. Then from there, if you would like it to be filled or if you would like it to be outlined, you can change the style as you can see right there. 
you can also change the color of the button by simply tapping on edit button you could change the writing on the button or so on or anything that you would like to change on the button you can do that you can change the alignment you can change the button style as you can see right there now the third option would be if you are creating an e-commerce store with your google sites and to add a payment option with that i would recommend that you use equin and the reason why i recommend that you use equin is because you can get started for completely free and also with equin not only do they offer a free plan completely free forever compared to shopify or so on that only offers a free trial with equin you'll be able to have a store completely free forever as you can see right here they offer a free plan forever and if you would like to go up to their paid plan which would allow you to sell up to 100 products or more you can do that but once on Equin, you can tap on get started for free and you could sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And then from there, you can add products. Now to add products is quite straightforward. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap right where you see apps. Then you are going to tap on app market. After you have tapped on app market, from here, you can choose if you would like to do a print on demand, you could download the Printful app and you could start doing print on demand. If you want to do drop shipping, you are going to tap on drop shipping. Then from there, I would recommend that you add the SOP drop shipping app. And the reason why I recommend that you add the SOP drop shipping app is because it is completely free and it is quite easy to use. And with the sub dropshipping app you'll be from aliexpress onto your store so this would make it the perfect dropshipping store for example let me go into the sub dropshipping app website real quick so you can see how it looks and then i would sign in right here the app that i would recommend you use is sub dropshipping and you can see that it is highly rated for example, if I were to go over to the left hand menu option, hover over catalogs, then tap on products, you can see the different products that I've added from AliExpress as you can see right here. Sub drop shipping is very straightforward and easy to use. Once you have added the products, you will need to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on payment. After you have tapped on payment, you are going to need to set up your Stripe and you can also set up Square and you can also set up PayPal. So you can add each option so you can enable each option on your store. Once you have enabled each option, what you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option again and you are going to see sales channel and I want you to tap right where you see overview. Once you have tapped on overview, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And all you'll need to do now is scroll down and then you're going to tap right where you see custom website. You're going to tap on learn more. Then you're going to tap on copy code to clipboard. Once you have tapped on copy code to clipboard. Once you have tapped on copy code. Once you have tapped on copy code, you're going to tap on copy right here then you are going to go back into your google sites and from there what i would recommend you do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on pages then you're going to hover over the plus at the bottom of the page and you're going to select full page embed then from here you could simply type in store or you can type in the page name that you want then tap on done then we are going to tap on add embed you are going to select embed code and you are going to paste the code right here then tap on next after you have done that you can tap on insert and once excuse me once you have tapped on insert all of the products that you have on your equin store will automatically be added to google sites as you can see right here all of the products has now been added as you can see right there 
and you can also see the buy now button that persons can click on and make their purchase and then after you have added your payment option you'll simply tap on publish and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe